Hey guys, this is Laura from the Sketching Pad. So today we're going to learn how to do these really pretty um, um, colored pencil bubbles. Um, so these colored pencils you can use just from everyday colored pencils like Crayola or Prang. Um, you should have those at your house, but we also provide those supplies if you need that. So just keep that in mind. Um, some things to, that might make this a little bit easier for you is uh, a circle to trace. So um, I usually just use um, like lids to mason jars or uh, pasta sauce, uh, like uh, spaghetti sauce lids. Um, you could use a coffee mug lid, a thermos lid, a spray uh, paint lid, a, you know, some tape, you kind of get the idea. Um, so what we're gonna do first is if you have your colored pencils, um, me make sure that you have white. White is probably the most important color um, for this picture. So I'm going to use um, a roll of tape for my largest bubble. Um, for the uh, bubbles, you want to make sure that you have three different sizes. That's what's going to make it look the best. But if you can't find three different sizes, like two different sizes would be fine as well. Um, I'm going to use this for our little tiny uh, bubble. Also, you don't have to trace things if you don't want to. You can certainly freehand it, so don't feel like this is a necessary part. It just kind of makes the process go a little bit faster. Okay. So now that you have your three bubble shapes, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, lightly uh, sketch an inner circle. Now this inner circle does not have to be perfect by any means. It just needs to be uh, somewhat similar to what you have. See like mine's a little off center, but that's okay. Because what that's going to do is it's going to give you a guide for where to put your color. You can kind of see that the middle part of these bubbles is mostly black. We're not going to do a lot of coloring in there. We're mostly going to be coloring inside of this band here that we're making. All right, one more. So there we have it. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to draw our highlights. Now our highlights kind of fall somewhere along this circle that you just made. So you're going to, and you don't really have to do it exactly where they are in here. You can choose to put them over there or whatever. So you're doing kind of a long um, rectangle. So see now mine is a little bit smaller here than this one is, and I kind of like it larger. So what you can do to make it larger is just extend it out a little bit further. Don't feel like you have to erase. And then we've got like a skinny rounded rectangle or an oval if an oval is easier for you to draw that will work as well so these kind of fall on this line here all right so now that you have your basic shapes for your highlights, what we're going to do now is we're going to fill them in. So you want them to be solid white to start with. I'm holding my pencil to the side. You might notice it just covers a little bit better than holding it straight up like that. But holding it straight up will get the job done as well. <clears throat> I 
Okay, so now what we're gonna do, now that the highlights are in place, we're gonna take and we're gonna thicken up the border of our bubble a little bit. So we're gonna just kind of go around the edge carefully until your bubble's outer edge is thicker and more substantial than this one in there. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, so now that we have the bubble um, outlined, I'm going to show you guys a little bit about how to um, shade this in the best way on this black paper. So I've got an extra sheet of paper here. Um, so there's a few different ways that you can make things um, a little bit lighter or darker. Notice that when you press down pretty hard, this is yellow. Um, and then when you, uh, you get it pretty bright, but you can also lighten your pressure to get something that's a little bit darker than full pressure. Now, if you want to get it even brighter than this, something that I found is pretty helpful is if you put a little base of white down first, and then you add the yellow on top of it. Um, if you want it even brighter, you can go back to the white and kind of layer that on top. So layering really helps to make your colors look um, more realistic, a little bit more vibrant, and just to you get the best use out of your pencils. Um, if you do have a spare sheet like this, um, that it can be helpful to test out what your colors look like beforehand. So like you can see what color your blue looks like, because it does look different when you put it on black paper than it when you normally see it on white paper. All right, so we're gonna start with um, our yellow and we're gonna put that where we see it. So I'm gonna layer it over the white in some areas where I just did that on my border. And then I'm going to press down with medium pressure in the middle area here. You'll notice that there's some gaps of white, I mean, sorry, some gaps of black inside this border that you can leave. So don't feel like you need to cover everything completely. It's having those gaps that's gonna make the bubble look more transparent. So I'm gonna put a little yellow right in here. And notice I'm still kind of going with a curved motion with the pencil. I'm not like going this direction or um, going that direction. I want to go with my bubble. That's very important. Also, feel free to turn your hand around to get it more uh, comfortable for you. Like, I think it's easier to go in a circular motion this way than I do this way. But everybody's a little bit different, especially if you're left-handed. If you're left-handed, then definitely going this way is gonna be easier. Okay, so now that we've got our yellow in place, 
I'm going to jump to our blue. So I'm going to use kind of a medium shade of blue, but really any blue will work. You can, I'm going to go in and put it where I see it. So there's a little bit right in here. It's just very subtle. And the rules for, for the blue are the same as the rules for the yellow. If you layer uh, white on top or underneath it, it's going to make it a little bit brighter. So I'm going to do a base of blue in this area. And then to make it brighter, like there's some areas of this blue that are a little bit brighter, I'll take my white and I'm going to just layer a little bit of white on top to bring it out just a little bit. And I'm going to repeat that for other areas like around this highlight. Add a little bit more white right in here. So this is a pretty repetitive piece. You're just looking for the colors that you see, doing your circular motion with your hand, and layering white and your color until you get something that you're happy with. So I'm gonna jump to the green. I'm gonna put some green in here. You can kind of see where the bubble overlaps. And I'm gonna kind of bring that um, that green over my edge just a little because I want to tone that down some. I don't want it to be quite as white because this is where um, the two bubbles overlap each other. I'm going to put it right along that second circle that we made at the very beginning. And I'm going to put it over here. So notice there's like this little edge here. That's just to help with the reflection. You don't have to add an edge, but I'm going to, uh, before I color, I'm going to add a little line just so I know where that is. But again, that, that's not super important that you put that line in there. Okay, so now that I have my green, I'm going to start adding some pink to it. So this pink, I'm going to use a combination of a light pink and red layered together instead. And the reason why I want to do that versus like just a dark pink is because it's not going to stand out quite as much as I want to here. Though if you wanted to, you could layer a darker pink and white together. I'm going to do it this way. So you're going to add your bright pink or your light pink in the area you want it first, and then I'm going to take and layer the red on top of it. And you can go back and forth with it. I think I want it to be a little bit lighter. So I'm layering the light pink on top of the red. So that's a little bit more what I'm looking for. And feel free to make streaks, guys, because streaks um, kind of add to like the soapy look. If you look really close at real bubbles, they kind of have these little swirls in them. I'm going to add a little bit of red right in here with a little bit of the pink on top this time. And 
All right. Okay, so now that I have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look over my highlights and see that I have a little bit of um, color in the highlights itself. Okay, so now that you have all of your pink in, what we're going to do now is we're going to um, add some streaks of color and boost the white in certain areas. So we're going to add a little bit more white right in here, a little bit more white right in here. And I'm going to blend this white over the top of that bubble in the back. Like that, a little bit more white over here. And this just kind of helps to blend things together as well as make them look a little bit more realistic. I'm gonna add some white over here. Maybe a little bit more in here. And feel free to like make your own white streaks in there. You don't have to follow my guidance for every single thing. A lot of this is gonna be what you're personally interested in. So if you like more, um, more pink versus more blue, you can definitely do that. So I'm gonna add some more red streaks in here. So this is just kind of accenting every, all those big areas. Add a little green. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of color to some of the highlights. So I've got a little green right in here. I've got a little bit of blue in here. I've got a lot, a little bit of blue right in here. Green on this one. Maybe a little pink in here. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to being done. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add our little shinies. The shinies really help bring everything together. So I'm gonna put some dots of white. Kind of, they're like angling towards the center in a line. All right. So last, things, um, last thing you're gonna do is add a little bit of uh, these little stars. I just did one right here. You can do more or less. Um, and then kind of give your bubble a look over to see if there's anything that you wanna change about it. If you wanna bring out some more white, like I think I wanna bring out a little bit more white on the edge right here. Maybe a little bit more right here. Maybe brighten this up a little bit here. A little bit more right over here, I think. All right, so here you have it. Thanks for joining us, guys. Let us know if you have any questions.